Morning, Mini Enthusiasts. How are you doing? Welcome back. I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're all well. So, we are on part three of the Mini Cooper S Magwick build. Now, as many people have commented, there's very little known about these Swift Tune Magwicks, and they're a very rare car, and there's not a great deal of information out there. So, part of this build series is going to help raise awareness. And I just think they're absolutely fantastic minis and we wanted to share this with you. As you can see, Alex is very busy and it's coming together very, very quickly. Obviously, Alex is a professional and Swift Tune are professional engine builders and mini builders. So they really know their stuff and their progress is coming along really, really quickly. Now, I wanted to read another article this week just to give a bit more of a background about the Magic Minis. So I've taken these words from Paul Hardiman for an article he wrote for Autospeed. And he writes, as the Mini Remastered drew gasps with its £100,000 price tag, a long time Mini Specialist quietly released one of the first of its new build improved Minis. It's not de-seamed, has no air conditioning or touchscreen sat nav and it looks like an old school mini because it is but it doesn't have a standard engine inspired by the fia spec competition mounts that swift tune builds and has raced since 1965 the idea was to provide a brand new car superior to a cooper s but at less than the cooper s price it's called the magic after the famous corner at Goodwood, where its builder's engines have claimed many successes. Now, I'm well known for waffling on, but I must admit I do find narration on these videos and Mark's videos a little bit difficult of late because Mark's videos, and particularly this one, I'm narrating, and the first time I see it is when I'm watching it. So I've no sort of background. I'm just watching the videos as we go through. So I don't think I'm going to narrate my way through this as much. I think I will just sit back and watch like you viewers are watching as well and just enjoy watching a mini come together by professionals that are working to a very high standard. Now, I have added a clip at the end of the video because I got a couple of requests about the... Um, wheel arch trim or the trim that runs down the side of the car so i have slowed down the footage at the end if you wanted to see that but like i say i think i'll stay quiet now and we'll just admire a lovely mini coming together and some craftsmen at work
I really must get, try and get down to Swift Tune next time with Mark just to go and have a look around. I'm just looking just above the roof of the Magic there, and I've just seen there is what looks like a 1275 GT for a clubman up on the mezzanine level there, and again, looks like another historic touring car. Wow, I bet there's some fantastic minis and just engines and bits to see down there. So at this stage in the video, I think we're probably about 25 minutes of footage into the build of this Magic, and it, it really is coming together really, really quickly. It's a testament to Swift Tune over how easy they're making it look. But yeah, it's just phenomenal. I mean, I think it looks like the front subframe's got to go in, front and rear screens, interior engine and we're nearly done so like i say i think it's a testament to their quality of workmanship over how easy they're making it look and i've got to say a big big thank you to swift Chew, nick swift alex that's working on the car now for allowing this to be filmed as well so it was really just a, a polite request off mark if they wouldn't mind setting up a camera and filming what they're doing so it can be published on YouTube. And I think that's a real testament to their confidence in the build and their confidence in their quality of workmanship that they are more than happy to film it for everyone to see. And I can't imagine there's many garages out there or many vehicle restorers that would quite happily put a camera on in the background and quite literally film everything they're doing for the whole world to see. Especially when it's a paying customer's car.
so we're just reaching the end of the video footage now please hang about if you wanted to see about the trim down the side of the car but um we'll be back again soon with more on the magic build and i'm really looking forward to the next few bits actually because it looks like we're not far off the engine going in the car and the front subframe so it's really exciting so keep watching get yourself subscribed and see you again soon so mark did ask nick swift about the trim down the side of the car and i think alex commented on one of the videos as well so the first thing nick said was the trim they use doesn't come from the normal sort of mini suppliers it is a much higher quality trim and i'll try and find out later if nick's willing to share where they get that trim from because it does just look far better and far more malleable than the cheap stuff that you get from some mini suppliers and i think as alex commented in one of the videos it is pre-shaped so as you can see there it kind of come off the shelf and it was already in the right shape to go on the car but again he's made that look very very easy i know some people have had problems with that in the past